there's a lot of part piece and parts that <laughs> it's all come from everywhere and just added in there and none none of the part was designed for this a lot of trial and error a lot of uh, you know you buy it you modify it and you make a special bracket to make it fit throughout the, the process Hi, uh, my, yeah, my name is Sithrak Yin, and I never built anything this uh, <laughs> elaborate before, and this is my first one. My initial thought was to build something that, uh, you know, not many people done in the past. I'm an engineer, I'm a mechanical engineer, uh, mechanical aerospace engineer, actually, working with an aerospace company uh, called Space and Intelligence System in El Segundo. I have some design knowledge using 3D modelings and uh, stress analysis. After I do a lot of sketches and, and, and make some uh, uh, model, so I start to collect parts. I have to search on either on eBay or, or the junkyard. Uh, a lot of these parts come from uh, 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 a scrap yard. Why did I choose this aluminum space frame? Uh, because at work, I, 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 we use a lot of these um, uh, alu extruded aluminum and, and it's, it's really, really useful for where we uh, at work. And um, based on that, I, I thought maybe uh, I should use this for my, uh, my design here. This extruded aluminum called 8020. A company called 8020, and um, it wasn't designed for for this. It was designed for structural uh, toolings and all that. And a lot of people use it for that, and I'm the only one <laughs> that using it for uh, uh, for a car or a project like this. And first, when I started, I wasn't sure if this aluminum is going to be strong enough for for this. But when I did the analysis on static analysis, uh, stress analysis, um, saying that I weld all these joints and do some stress and it was, it, it gave me a pretty good uh, result. So I'm happy with it, but I'm just rely a lot of it with the, how well the welding is. And I'm not really a, a, a professional welder, but I, I learn a lot from this professional welder and he helped a lot f with the main, the main structure, and I do a, a few uh, myself. Uh, but at the same time, I learn a lot of, of, of that from him. You can see the, the swing arm, uh, that came from the uh, Performant Hayabusa swing arm. Got that from eBay. Um, but I, I modified it, I cut that in half and expanded it to the dimension of the wheel that I also purchased, a custom wheel, a motorcycle wheel actually. I, I cut in half and then I expanded. If you see this dimension here, it's maybe three, three and a half inches expand or three inches here to expand to, to meet uh, the wheel dimension and then weld it. <laughs> yeah. The, the wheel is an 18 inch wheel. Um, the width, uh, well, it fit this tire, it's a 285-35-18 tires. And the guy who put this tire on this wheel, he had a hard time because the tire is a car tires, but the wheel is the motorcycle wheel. <laughs> then I, I have to buy the sp sprocket, the rear sprocket, and modify it to fit the, the bolt pattern of the wheel. Yeah, so there was the original bracket for the mo motorcycle, so I mount that for my two uh, suspension, and I, I weld another one because it was too soft, so I put the third suspension. This is the motorcycle, original motorcycle suspension on the there. So these three suspensions seem to provide uh, 
like a perfect um, uh, suspension for, for this vehicle. And then I found this Suzuki SV1000. It's a V-twin. I tested, and it was, the engine was running great. It just it had a front-end wreck. So I bought the, that wrecked motorcycle completely and then just stripped the engine, the harness, and uh, the instrument cluster and, and put it here. Even the, the, the muffler, the exhaust was also came off from that particular uh, motorcycle. So I just have to modify just to fit this configuration. Okay, in the, in the cockpit area, um, I have these two screen here is uh, providing me the information of the, my rear side mirror. It, it act as a side mirror, but instead of a mirror, it's, it's, it's a camera that projects the image to the screen. So uh, it, 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 because I do this because it gives me a wider angle than the actual side mirror. Uh, it helped me a lot. Um, and here's my, the camera. It's like a, a backup camera, uh, provide the information, the video to my screen uh, on both sides. Uh, and I have, this is my phone and this is my other phone. Uh, I use this as my speed. Uh, somehow it's a little different than the speed uh, on the original. So this is more of a GPS speed. It's more accurate. And here's my other phone that I use for my, um, GPS, uh, that's my creation because I do this. Just, just a two magnet and a bracket. It's sturdy enough that when I just put it here, it, it stay there. And here is coming off from the, the, the switch, completely coming off from the handlebar of, a, of the, the motorcycle. I just make a bracket and mount it to there. Instrument cluster, that's part of the engine of the motorcycle that I got. It's a Suzuki, the SV1000. Oh, the steering wheel, this is the, the NRG steering wheel, it's uh, detachable, um, that's an eBay part, <laughs> so it works great, um, so I, I have more access to get in and out, uh, but I just snap this on here, and then it's on. I have like a paddle shift next to my wheel, so, but the shifting feature is exact same as the motorcycle. Instead of the foot uh, shifting, I transfer it to my hand. So the, in order to take to the first gear, I, pull, I push on the clutch on my foot, and then I pull my left lever this way. And then if I go to second gear, I push on the clutch and I go here, second, and then I go third, and then I go fourth, and fifth, and sixth. And then this is downshift to one. Uh, from from six to one by doing this. I bought this seat from eBay and um, it, it works great and it fit perfectly here. Um, reasonable price and it, it it can go forward and back, same as a typical seat in a car. You know, you well, it's kind of tight now, but yeah, you can just slide back and forth. And uh, you know you can tilt back in and out. So I'm not sure what this suspension come from. It's progressive suspension, but I just look for the dimension and uh, uh, and for some reason this one I <laughs> extended as much as I can. And at this level everything was uh, adjusted properly. And I like it, this design because it's kind of look like a, a Formula One type design. Uh, these two upper arm and lower arm, uh, because I was trying to find the, uh, the A arm that's aluminum. So I went down to the junkyard, um, look around and I found that the, this is coming from, I, I took it off from a Corvette. Uh, I think it's a ZR1 Corvette. So I took that off, took both of them off, and this is coming off from a Lexus GX300, uh, also at the junkyard, and uh, the same thing as the spindle and the the the, the brake caliper. That's also part of a, a Lexus. 
So it, it, with this configuration, it works. Uh, and then I, I build my frame to that dimension. I bought the wheel from uh, all the, the typical wheel store. They, di they didn't want it to sell just two for me, but for some reason, this guy was okay. <laughs> So, and yeah, and, and I asked him to get a tire for, for that wheel. Okay, on the front end, um, if you can see this uh, headlight, uh, that's coming off from uh, a BMW 3 Series. I installed it, but I put it upside down just to get it in the same profile of my car. Um, that bought it from eBay. Uh, radiator, that's coming off from uh, a quad. <laughs> it works great. It, it didn't give me any uh, problem with the, the temperature. Here the linkage, the, the center steering linkage coming off a... Um, got that from a junkyard also. I don't remember which car it was. Uh, I have to cut it and modify it to fit. And this uh, rack and pinion is a typical sand rail center drive uh, rack and pinion these are the brake reservoir and the brake mechanism brake system come with the reservoir uh, i got that from ebay um, and also that's a clutch uh, system you know my clutch and that's a clutch reservoir that's from ebay also this is my my acceleration uh, mechanism uh, i i i I machined a lot of these piece here to make it right, make it fit. So I, I, I found this uh, aluminum spoiler from eBay and it, it, it fit the dimension that I'm looking for and I, I make some bracket to make it mounted to and it's pretty sturdy and it looks good. I mean, it, it first of all, the, the spoiler to enhance the looks of the, the vehicle to make it look like a, a sports car and then also i'm sure that uh, <laughs> it helps pushing the rear wheel down to the ground at high speed so um how much force how much down force i don't know i don't have a any analysis for that <laughs> but it, it i'm pretty sure it helps the down force for the wheel to always contacts at high speed why I call it Astron, um, my kid one time helped me out, come up with a name, and uh, he named it Astron because he, he liked the, the name from like a, a transformer type things and <laughs> doesn't mean anything I believe because the uh, Astro probably part of the uh, space program and uh, X51, it's just a, it's a cool name. <laughs>